So the first one we're going to look at is called dry brush. Mm -hmm. And dry brush, as its uh, name suggests, it's a brush that's almost dry, it's just slightly damp, um, but the paint is slightly moist. It's um, fresh from a tube, so it's um, a little bit more moist than what you'd get in a pan. But certainly for this technique, it's easier. And um, if you look at me while I'm doing this, you see I'm supporting, um, supporting my hand with my finger uh -huh. and my wrist with my other hand, which is supported on my knee. And I move my knee as I want to move over. Do you see how mm. my knee is moving? Mm -hmm. And that moves the whole thing over. Right. And that makes me very steady with what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. So here you go. Here you have a go. Thank you. That's it. And then move, slide your knee over as you're, as you're going. That's it. And a bit more pressure. Brilliant. That is absolutely perfect. Well done. <laughs> Thank now, you. As you can see, immediately it gives the feeling of an old stone wall or a road, mm. or mm. and that's brilliant to do that first go, because generally, um, in fact, yours is better than mine, look. Never, It never. is. No, it is. beginner's luck. It's better luck. than mine. <laughs> Here we go. Now, shall we have a go at stipple? The secret that's with, good news. The secret with texture is that you mustn't use it all over the picture, at least not the same texture. This is going to be stippling. Yep. Teeny tiny little bit of water on the brush. Mm -hmm. Lots and lots of paint again. And now you've got to just dab it on. And it gives an effect of foliage. Mm. Do you see it? That could be a tree growing yeah, terrific, there. Terrific, isn't it? The amount of paint and the amount of water, knowing that's obviously... Is, is part of the secret, but also secret, yeah. the actual, the action in your hand yeah. is, is also um, something that just takes the practice. So there right. you go. Did you support that again? No, 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 no. You want to fairly hit the paper with that. That's it. Yep. Go on, a bit more violence. That's it. Lovely. That's right, spread the strokes out a bit more so you get a bit of a shape to it. Mm. Good. Good. Next one, mm -hmm. same texture. Oops, but by, water. But by varying the different kinds of brushes you use, you get a different effect. So this is a new sable, number five sable. So you're using less paint and a bit more moisture. Yeah. And you tap it with a much more delicate motion. Do you see I'm using my, my finger to support me again? Yeah. And I'm doing that so the hairs hardly bend. You see, now if I go down too far... Splodge. Well, you could use it as an effect, but it's not as nice. It's very important, that finger control, isn't it? Control, yeah. That's, mm, but I, you, using yeah. the finger too. Yeah, I find steady. the finger is a great help, yeah. yeah. Thank you. There you go. That's it. Up and down. You've got to get the brush. Just it's right, a, yeah. just at the right level and the, and the finger at the right level. Yeah. Very well done. So, secret of texture, um, variety of surface, and use it for making shapes within boring, empty areas, and have fun with it. <laughs>